what's up you guys marty schwartz here with marty music thank you so much for checking out another video with me really appreciate it uh i've been getting questions or i get questions a lot about uh direction you know what direction to take to get better uh, you know efficiently what scales do i learn there's so many different kinds of scales and so i think for just having fun and playing music having a, a little grasp of the uh, minor pentatonic scale for rock and blues is just a great start but where do you go from there? And you hear these words like modes, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Dorian. Um, and so I have the major scale. And I'm going to show you the first position I think would benefit you to start getting a grasp of. And it connects to all the music we listen to. So you will never go wrong by getting this scale down. So I'm going to zoom in and show it to you. Let's do it. All right, so if you're trying to figure out what what scales are all about, what to do past the pentatonic scale, or should I learn the modes and all these names and fancy different scales, 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 this is a great starting point. This is the major scale with the root on the E string. Um, if you have a good grasp of this, there's five shapes of the scale to memorize, but what's cool about it is if you can play the major scale, up and down the whole neck. You don't have to learn any new shapes to play all the modes up and down the neck as well. If that's confusing, don't worry. There's more on that coming, but this is a, a great starting point for scales, the major scale. It's also the Do, Re, Mi scale. Um, you know, all our Western music is based off of this uh, pool of notes, this relationship. So, this is the position, I'll just call it shape number one, and it sounds like this. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our hand in one position, which means we're assigning a specific finger to each fret through this position. And so the middle finger starts on the root, and that's the eighth fret. And then we go up a whole step with our pinky, to the 10th fret. And then our index finger goes to the seventh fret A string. So each note separately. Then a half step up from that with our middle finger. So that's the eighth fret. So eight, 10, seven, eight, 10. Now on the D string, it's seven, nine, ten, and that's the root again. C, 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 D, E, F, G, A, B, C again, C. Let's finish it. Seven, nine, ten on the G, eight on the B, ten, seven, eight. That's the root again. And then just to finish the shape up to ten. But for right now, it, it should feel resolved when you end it on one of the C notes, which would be here that eighth fret high E or the eighth fret low E. And then in between, you've got the 10th fret D. The shape also has the half step below that root, but we want to resolve the scale on the C note. Now for context, you know, I have a looper pedal here, but you could, you know, strum a, a C chord to hear it over, or you could do something like C and F, C, F, G, which is the one, four, five. Practice the 
scale just to hear what it sounds like. Also just pointing out that when you learn there's five shapes to be able to play the scale up and down the whole neck and each of those five shapes we're just going to do this one right now but each of those five shapes there's one spot where it's only two notes so look at this on the E string we have three notes on the A string we have three notes and then on the D we have three notes on the G, we have three notes, but here it is on the B, there's only two. So each of the five shapes out there, there's always one string that only has two notes. But you can practice, this is a great one to practice while you're watching Netflix or doing something else and you're getting the muscle memory. All the, uh, you know, the foundations of reading music is based on this scale. Um, the modes are based on this scale, and also all kind of mainstream music is based on the scale as well. So it's good to know. Um, let me know any questions and follow-ups that I can give on this topic. So uh, we'll see you there. All right, hope you guys dug that. Uh, a lot more to come. Feel free to uh, you know follow up with questions in the comments below, things you're trying to work on, things you'd like to see. Um, also, just thanks for supporting me here at Marty Music, subscribing to the channel, clicking the bell notification, liking the video, commenting, all that stuff really helps me. So thank you so much and uh, hope to see you guys later. Take care.